This is the back of our light housing. It, it will attach to the rest of the body like, like this. We're going to insert our driver into the back of the housing to hide it and protect it. It has two wires coming out of it, a red and a black one. Those attach respectively to the red or to the positive and negative terminals of our printed circuit board with the LED. LEDs. On the back of our driver, we have a copper, copper circle in the middle and a copper ring around the outside. The center circle is the positive input. If you take your battery, it will sit, the positive input would, positive terminal of the battery would sit nicely on the center circle. The outer ring will take the negative from your battery. So in our case, we have our battery pack with its connector on this side, matching connector over here. So we're going to use this connector. The red wire from this connector will attach to the center circle, the positive, and the black wire will attach to the outer ring. Now these wires have to pass through the back of the light housing. The holes in here aren't big enough and we don't want to use these metal terminals that, that already exist. So we're going to drill a bigger hole, probably two bigger holes, and we're going to pass the wires through to the inside of this housing. So grab our rotary tool. Same bit as before. Now, we're ready to pass these wires through the back. And solder them onto the back of our driver. But the driver that we got doesn't quite fit. Along the edge with these this three pin header, we can file that flat. And we won't be cutting off anything important on the circuit board. On the other side, we can also file that away, but we have to be careful. We don't want to break the copper trace on the back. We also don't want to interfere with, there's a little tiny resistor on the top side of the board that we don't want to, to damage or interfere with either. So we'll carefully file these two sides flat, and that's all we need to do to make it fit. slide this through but again let's add some heat shrink on first feed 
feed the two wires in. Now, keep in mind when you solder these two wires onto onto the bottom of the driver. Oops. A little bit of glue there. Keep in mind how this driver is going to slide in and that you can't put you can't solder anything to the center of the driver because the the fit is too tight and you'll hit the little screw post. So solder both of your wires onto the side so, so that the outside of the inner circle and also the um, a side the side of the ring and not right down the middle. Make sure you don't clamp onto any of the small components on the far side of the circuit board. So here it can be use it can be useful to apply the solder points onto the circuit board before you actually attach the wires. Again, positive in the middle. And therefore negative on the outside. Make sure your wires aren't at risk of shorting each other out by connect by touching. Alright, we're ready for the next step, which is to attach the lead wires from our driver to our actual lights. You want to be careful not to accidentally touch the dome of the LEDs with your soldering iron tip. So a steady hand is very useful here. And you still want to avoid overheating the LEDs. So don't hold the solder too long.